Good evening, everybody. My name is Osman Trostian Rayem, uh, and I'm here with Kiran Kantesa uh, Sarja. And today's topic is to see how to uh, work uh, in multi currency environment with Odoo 13, uh, 13. Hi, Kiran, how are you? Yes, I am fine. Thank okay, you. fine, thank you. Okay, so uh, let's see how, how this thing works because uh, essentially, uh, this is actually something where, where Udo, uh, Udo, it is a basic Udo function, but it is it is something where, which where the uh, the environment uh, differs quite a lot of in Udo 13 uh, enterprise edition and currency edition, uh, sorry uh, community edition. So I am here in our demo system, and uh, what we have here is that we have done some some preparations to get uh, to get this uh, this done, and. Uh, Essentially, what we have uh, here is that we have uh, let's filter. We have installed uh, something to make it a bit, a bit easier for this server. Uh, we have uh, Uru 13, uh, 13 uh, community edition, but we have this Uru 13 full accounting kit, which is uh, which is. Uh, and Cybrosis has done it, and it's a free, it's their free uh, free add-on. What this does is that uh, we will be seeing in a minute. But we also have another uh, another uh, extension here, and it is auto uh, update currency rate, and it is uh, it is Alpha Brains techno technologies, and it's a very very simple one. It uh, it automatically uh, updates the uh, the. the, the uh, currency rates that are uh, done in Udo, so you don't have to do it manually. Okay, so let's go to the main screen, and here we have the main screen, and this main screen right now, uh, instead of invoicing, it has accounting, and this is uh, because the Cybrosis uh, extension that uh, that is there, and it is it pretty much enables uh, about um, I would say ninety percent of the accounting features that are already in Udo, and just uh, they are pretty much hidden from the uh, point of view of the uh, of the ordinary users as you are not using the enterprise edition version are you still with me yes great so let's let's see because now the now the key to get this uh, this done is first you must have the multi currencies setup enabled here and here we can see, let's increase this uh, size a bit. Uh, we have actually uh, main currency in this side is the United States dollars, and then we have the uh, 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 other currencies which are here, and we can see that we have euros, Mexican pesos, and US dollars. So, uh, the first thing what we need to do is that we need to go to accounting and we need to go to configuration, and we need to see uh, that the currencies are here and we can see that the currency rates are fluctuating and if we for example look at the mexican pesos and rates we can see that the uh, that the extension actually does up, uh, update them uh, at this regularly this can be set uh, set in the it's a, it's a commercial extension but it costs something like three and a half half dollars so then the next next thing and this is quite in, in important is that we, you have to modify the chart of accounts and here, what I have done uh, in this system uh, is that uh, you, uh, when you enable the currencies, I think Enterprise Edition actually uh, creates a new, uh, new accounts for each currency. The Community Edition doesn't do it, so this is something that you have to do manually. So uh, th this is, for example, why I have done here these these currencies 4010101 is the USD and uh, then dot uh, one dot uh, two is Mexican pesos and dot three is the Europe uh, euros and I can see that there is uh, actually a, an error here let's correct it uh, it right away okay so I have now created uh, all the important important accounts uh, in the in the different currencies then what you need to have to do is that you have to go to journals. And let's see where are the journals. The journals are here, and you have to do the same trick here. So the uh, so the same trick has to be done here. That you have you must do the uh, do the, uh, the the customer invoices in the in different accounts. And uh, the good thing is that once you uh, once you uh, do this, uh, you actually can customize uh, the uh, the short codes and the uh, and the sequences which are here so that they, uh, that this is like for example invoice in euros is in the 
Okay, and he, this is the thing. You have to set the currency here. And as you see, I have euros uh, set euros here. Okay. Yes. So this is the preparation. You must have the uh, have the uh, the chart of accounts. You must have the uh, the journals that are linked to these uh, these accounts here. So then then comes the uh, the trick that actually uh, is different in Udo Enterprise Edition and, and Community Edition because in Enterprise Edition you can uh, as you can see you can just select uh, define the currency here when you are going uh, going to set uh, set the, uh, set the uh, an invoice. In community edition, there is, an, uh, there is a different trick how you do it. And the thing is that you have to do it via, via uh, the price lists. So here are the price lists. And I have multiple prices per product set. And I have created three price lists here. The basic one is the uh, is the uh, dollar price list, then there's euro price list, and then there's a Mexican uh, pesos price list. And the thing is that here you can see which is the currency that you have selected for this uh, this, uh, this price list. I also have here a formula which is needed because uh, so that this takes effect. And uh, and uh, my so my formula is rather simple. I have just selected uh, that the uh, the price. Uh, doesn't uh, change at at, at, uh, at all, and it it applies to all uh, all products when you are using uh, using euros, uh, pesos, but the same but the same thing uh, goes with the with the euros. So now, when you are creating an uh, an an quotation, you have to select the customer first, and. Then you have to select, uh, and I have actually here a product. So, so now we are using public price list for, for USDs. And let's add a product here. I have a product without a name and it, the price list is one, uh, 100. So now Euro is uh, more expensive currently, uh, currency than, uh, than, than uh, the, uh, price, uh, the product price in, so it is like 95 euros but uh, this would be something like uh, 2,400 uh, 400 peso, uh, pesos. So now when you select the uh, price list, nothing happens. And, th uh, and this, uh, this is something that might may confuse people. The thing is that you have to delete the product. And then when you have selected the different price list, then when you add the product here, now we can see that the product price is actually actually changed. It is now 2,400. And uh, Mexican pesos ha actually have this currency symbol with uh, same as US dollars. So it is, uh, it's a bit confusing. Uh, we may end up, uh, end up uh, for clarity's sake, uh, changing, uh, changing this. But, uh, but let's demonstrate. Let's, let's put euros here. And uh, we have to delete this product. So we, uh, we select, uh, it was uh, Mexican pesos, but we are, we are putting the euros here. Then we are adding the product and it is this product is in nombre. And here we are, now we are seeing that the price is automatically calculated to be 90, uh, 92, uh, 92 euros for this. So I think we pretty much pretty much resolved uh, the uh, the case that the, that the customer was uh, was ask, uh, asking for this, and now we can actually send this by email, and uh, then it uh, it arrives and uh, and the quote is in uh, is in euros. So here it is, and I think it was uh, even the PDF was created now uh, now correctly so that it is showing euros. So that's that's how how you do it. It was just very very difficult to find the uh, find the instructions on how to do it. Yes. Uh, see, it is very important in this case. First of all, we need to select a customer, and after then this we need to select a price list because what price list you select based on that it will be apply on the product. Yes, exactly, exactly. So yeah. uh, so and so. This is just under concept. First of all, it is the same for uh, same for the sales and POS both. Uh, first of all, you need to select a pro, uh, vendor, uh, sorry, customer in the case of sales, and then you need to select a price list and it will be applied on the product. So this is the right way. 
Yeah, and as as you see, uh, this is this is something that uh, that I, I I just now did as an uh, as an example that uh, where it is wrong. As you see, I select the price list, but as I have not selected the customer, then the product actually doesn't get any name. Yes, exactly, because price list is apply on the customer basis on product. Yes, exactly. First, first it matches the customer. So let's see for for example that do we have uh, do we have here in uh, in our cont so this is the filter is apply based on the uh, customer so which customer allow which price list yeah and here it is the price list uh, for uh, for Aussie is uh, public uh, public price list so that's why yes. uh, that's why Udo is get, getting getting it first let's actually see that can, can we uh, can we select the price list to be uh, mexican pesos for yes you can select your different price list as per the your need because it is automatically getting from the customer. Yeah. So now we now we do the quotation yeah. to OSI. Yeah. Just refresh it and try with same user. So yeah. it will be. Uh, and here yeah. we see uh, we see, we see that it it is already a public price list for Mexican pesos. Yes. So it is coming from the customer. Default it is set on the customer price uh, customer, and it is coming here. Yep. Exa 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 exactly. Exactly. And, uh, now, whatever the product you will be select, it will be automatically applied the price list based on this price, the selected, auto selected. Yeah, and of course, it, it is just, uh, just the right. defo de default price. Yeah, and this is the default rules of Odoo. Yeah. It is working based on the default rules, yes. Yes, ex exactly. Uh, just one thing uh, before we go, uh, I, I, want, I want to uh, show how it is actually, uh, how the, uh, it, it, there is actually something uh, product based as well here. So here it is, it is master data products. And uh, let's see the product in uh, in nombre. Here in uh, th this is also different in uh, in uh, in uh, Udo Enterprise Edition and Community Edition. We have seen that the product in nombre price is one hundred, but uh, there is uh, hold on hold on. Yes, here in Udo Enterprise Edition, uh, you can select. Uh, uh, where, where was it? Wait a second. You sh you can actually set the different prices per product uh, in 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 uh, you can select the different price that uh, of this one, but uh, so that for example, if you are selling uh, selling in euro and your accounts are in this and this, uh, then uh, you are getting a different price. However, in community edition, that's not possible. What is uh, what is possible here is that you are selecting the uh, supplier currency so uh, so the uh, in uh, in the case of suppliers I actually haven't, I haven't tested out the uh, out if you can uh, set the price list for the supplier but uh, that's the uh, that's a topic for an another thing so that we are uh, we are getting uh, the, uh, the that's that would be an, uh, a nice topic for another video yes sir but here we can here we can se uh, select what is the what is the provider's currency currency for this Okay, I think that uh, I think that that was a very good, very good lesson. Uh, thank you all. Uh, thank you all for uh, for coming and uh, please have a nice day.